and this is the 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 magic of of great conducting. There is a very funny game that kids like playing, which is um, who is the conductor. So you know you have a, a big group of kids, and then one kid goes out, and then everybody decides, okay, um, John is the conductor, and then everybody starts making a movement. I mean, John shows the movement. Let's say he does like this. Everybody does like this. And then Jim, that was outside, he comes in and he has to decide who is the conductor. So, but everybody is doing the same. And then John is waiting for the moment where Jim doesn't look. And then he starts doing this. And then immediately everybody does this. So Jim has to find out who is the one that's generating the change. So obviously a similar thing happens with a conductor in an orchestra, except that this is very clear because the conductor is, is in, in his gestures, does, uh, in his actions, does something else than the musicians. But the same kind of immediate collective consciousness is happening. So the conductor shows a gesture, we're moving faster, and everybody immediately uh, uh, gels in, focuses and gets this exactly the element of, okay, we're moving faster. Now what is happening? The same thing if you think of the group of kids and everybody is doing this. So if you change drastically, too drastically, at first there's a chaos. There's a chaos until everybody finds the way of, this, finds the synchronicity. So these changes have to happen in a very subtle way. When we go back to this uh, example of, of those kids, the same thing, the smoother the difference is, the more difficult it is to detect who is the conductor in that moment. And this is the, the, the magic of, of great conducting. <laughs> 